ساشا بس خبرينا انه السكرين مبينة ويلا هاي everybody uh, today we have an awesome session with Ala Flayfil uh, Ala is an animator and a mobile designer uh, and uh, he's here with Albert the Frog coming <laughs> uh, and he's going to be giving a really great session um, Ala Thank I give you, you the stage شكرا ساشا أول شيء أهلا وسهلا فيكم كلكم Uh, شكرا كثير لي اجى ليحضر الورك شوب انا اسمي علاء فليفيل ام ان انيميتر بيست ان بيروت ام ام يعني برايمرلي ام ان انيميتر و اي ورك اندبندنتلي ام اولسو ا فيلم ميكر ام سو اي ورك ا لوت ان انيميتد ديزاينز كاركتر انيميشن اند اي دابل وذ جيم ديزاين وين ايفر اتس بوسيبل بس برايمرلي لما اجى على الورك شوبس بالجيمنج اكاديمي Um, I focus on animation that I know I think a lot of game developers uh, could use the could use the the fundamentals of animation to make their game designs look more look and feel better um, so shukran to the game the gaming academy lahatta nader namil holder workshops So, uh, yom hanam al workshop on animation for game design. This is the second workshop. Yel hadir awal workshop. Welcome back. Um, kill almost all of the material in this workshop is new, so uh, you almost nothing will be redundant. We are awal marajay. I've tried as much as I can to to keep the essential material. Um, uh, inshallah, kill yom basit bil workshop. <coughs> So, Habalish Bill Workshop Outline. Uh, by the way, um, is a had under Asila, please write them in chat. Bas, um, Imkin Malaha era Kelshi, because I only wouldn't indulge on Yeruha in Ishmael. Um, so feel free to ask any questions. If I'm going too fast, had I what ifne? Uh, Albert is five years old, but that's not the kinds of questions that I'm making on. So the workshop outline, it's the workshop, it's uh, it's uh, bro it's broken down into five parts. The first part, we'll talk about character design, but briefly, I won't focus on character design, but it's important for animators to, to understand how the design of the character influences the animation of the character and the gameplay. Uh, the second part, Haikon on action or interaction. Um, so, what does a character? Uh, so, what does a character do? Uh, should primary actions of a character, and how to animate a character and to make the character feel readable. Albert is a king because he's a king, and that's non-negotiable. Part three is about feel and fluidity. Uh, so how to design uh, responsive gameplay through appropriate animation and how fluid act and how to um, how to achieve fluid uh, fluid actions and flow in your animations part four is about anticipation and enemy design and how that feeds into reactive gameplay Echer part Haikon about style and budgeting um, so how to develop a style that fits the limitations of your development team and how to economize animating for the game. Um, all right. So um, the workshop, um, feel free to follow along with the workshop. Is a had and character pre-animated characters you'll have be throughout the workshop feel free to do that. If you want to sketch out Uh, throughout this workshop, you can do so. From my part, there's a lot of material to go through, so unless there's uh, um, uh, and if you have an yeah, if you have an animated chicken, you can use that. A kid, um, uh, that's extra points actually. Uh, so as a Macron characters, uh, feel free to to uh, to 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 uh, to follow along with the workshop hanat hat feedback bi akhir al session um so habalish bi atikun shwaye shwaye softer on what you can use um because there's a lot of available uh, and affordable um 
animation programs. So Krita Cliffs Studio Paint, they're really good. They're excellent animation software. Blender is an all around good program for 2D and 3D, but mostly for 3D. A Sprite, I've used it in the, in the past. It's, re it's really good for uh, pixel art. Oh, ProMotion is sort of a hardcore pixel art program, but it's, it's also affordable. The, not so affordable, but still accessible programs are Harmony, Adobe, uh, Photoshop, and Animate. They're good for making assets come in. So, uh, hey man, I'm telling my mother it's Tamil Blender for 2D. I'm just saying you can use it for 2D. Um, paper also works. Okay, so like if Cuphead did it, then you can do it as well. But I know, not keep bohalkan and shibek and tam tam little game assets. So, uh, part one. Uh, character design. Uh, it's not always the job of the game animator to design the characters, but it's crucial to understand how the game, uh, how the design of the character influences gameplay uh, and its animations. So if you're an animator, you animation. So I'll just give you some examples in that cells. Uh, that, for example, that cells is a 2D hack and slash pixel art side scroller. And the character needs to be designed in a way to accommodate for this, uh, for this fast action pack gameplay. For something like Animal Crossing, it's a, it's a three quarter camera angle exploration slash farming sim, um, as opposed to a game like Just Shapes and Beats, which is a 2D flash, um, uh, 2D flat minimal bullet hell. And yes, in this game, you um, you control a square. So the design the controllable character um, it needs to accommodate for the gameplay. All right. So almost every character is designed from real life references. Okay. Uh, and we use real life references and reduce those references into simpler forms whenever necessary. Uh, for the sake of this workshop, Hanouz Jeju. And my philosophy is if you can make a chicken look epic, then khalas, you've, you've mastered animation to some extent. Um, so in this process, Sone, I'll show the, the uh, so if you look at here, uh, this is the process of of uh, abstracting the character. So the process of abstraction is removing details and stylizing however you see fit for the game. I think I'll just tell you in the chat, are you going to see the mouse pointer or not? Okay, perfect. So honey, we start with the chicken and we start abstracting the details of the chicken until we reach a design that is more animatable, all right? And is more recognizable as a shape. So a pro tip to keep in mind when you're animating a character, you know, the silhouette needs to be clear and recognizable. This principle will be, uh, will be relevant later, later on when we're discussing the actions readability. Um, so Hona, I have a, a sprite sheet reference for a game called, for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge. And as a Batlazo, and Hona and the Killer sprites for reference. And notice how, when they're transformed into silhouettes, the sprites remain to be readable. Yani, Khasatan Echero for the character, I think it's Mo Michelangelo. His, his pose, his running pose, is still incredibly recognizable. Bad Fina Narif, and no, and Bad Fina Narif. I a character and shul action on camera. Obana, I'm in shuf el post state on. This is really important. Oh, this is my character. Okay, that's really good. Um, nihan of yahan and gayri hikka and had al mabdu. So, silhouettes. So, you need to make sure the silhouette of your characters is readable. And the reason why this is important, I know while you're designing games, you will have segments, you might have segments where you have, um, where you have like day and night cycles, you might turn your character sprites into flat colors. So how be the process sprites for something that's more readable than the first, make sure they're obvious. 
سو هلا حننتقل لبارت 2 which is action and interaction um, so حنحكي شوي بس عن the function of video game animation I know it's an obvious answer بس um, the function of video game uh, animation is to communicate what's happening inside the game so the animation needs to let the player know what can the cat what can the player control what is it that is moving and what is static all right uh so for the purposes of our character main character actions for our chicken character so at the top of my head if we have the chicken in a platformer pose uh, in a 2d platformer uh haikun fi anna sir bas am taqad no bana on stream looks like a bush to me yep it is a bush uh so haikun fi anna the idle pose the walk pose the uh, idle pose the walk cycle and a jump cycle chickens can do splits by the way um and la madami the whole main actions fin uh fin an rakib al actions ma baad to start and construct the basic gameplay uh, gameplay loop. Uh, so Hone, I've laid out the sprites for the jump animation of the chicken. Then I do want to discuss important principles uh, that are related to, to animation and how they integrate into animation for game design. So notice how at the beginning of the jump, the chicken stretches to exaggerate the jump for extra readability stretch is one of the uh, principle uh, one of the uh, squash and stretch are one of the 12 principles of animation and they help and they help in exaggerating the motion because when you're abstracting motion you need to exaggerate it somehow so that the motion gets across would you say the way uh down the same as the way back up in a jump um i'll discuss uh من ناحية repurposing smears, uh, repurposing frames uh, towards the end. بس بس تجاوب على السؤال. One thing to keep in mind is when the chicken is going upwards, the ال- top part of its of its head is a flimsy skin. So when it's going upwards, the gelat hay hayinzal tahat مع ال inert مع ال momentum. And when the chicken is landing downwards towards the ending frames, that part of its skin hayinzal haykun waif tloa hi wa am tenzal. So you do need to do some repurposing um, And as the chicken lands, it squashes onto the ground, come in to exaggerate the landing. These techniques are one of the 12 principles of animation and they're crucial for conveying movement. So Hone, this is just a brief explanation. Stretch is the stretching of the subject to exaggerate motion and momentum. And it's just a recap of the principle and squash is the literal, again, squishing of the subject to exaggerate the impact or landing. Well, the principles are important to keep in mind know A, they really help out with conveying the motion and B, they make the actual animation feel, in, feel full of life. And, and is a if the animation is feeling stiff, adding those principles into your animation is incredibly useful. Bibatil al character has stuff. So again, Natalal sprites of the jumps of the jump animation. And I try to maintain a clear silhouette throughout the entire action. Benisbilal movement and traversal. Um, movement doesn't need to be a linear uh, endeavor. Uh, movement can be a core game mechanic. Uh, the best example I could think of in this case is Dandara, where the movement is a core part of the gameplay. Break gravity if you want. It's a video game. Oh, um, a dangerous sunflower appears. How will the chicken react? Um, so this section, we're going to introduce different intensities of character actions. All right. So obviously, when you have a dangerous flower, uh, the chicken needs to fight back. <laughs> uh, so Hanbali should be a basic clock attack. And Zakar should be the readability of silhouettes. 
So when the flower is attacked, you have white flashing to indicate the enemy has taken damage. So when you attack the flower, it flashes white. And this is one of the ways in which you can use effects to convey and you've interacted with an enemy. So always communicating to the player and you know, you've actually done, done an interaction with a player, with, a, with an NPC or an enemy, conveys, an inter, conveys that interactable, interactability is taking place. Um, so on the frames for the basic attack, again, the chicken stretches in its attack to exaggerate the motion. And when it's returning back into its idle pose, there's a slight squishing to have a snappier return to the idle pose. Akid hol am foot in details, but hol a little details, kir bi serdo, like hello action, it kuan responsive and feel just right. And when you're designing something like a platformer or any, any game where you're controlling a character for a long period of time, the motion needs to be paid attention to, to its fine little details. Silhouettes, make sure your silhouettes are readable. Then attack is the dash attack. When the action is more intense, I've exaggerated shway, the damage indicator of the flower. This part is up to you. You can exaggerate as much as you want how the enemy reacts to any kind of damage taken. But the important that damage indicator موجود. So as I'm in the frames the dash animation, um, again, don't forget to stretch. A dash is a quick action. There's only around three to four frames in that animation. So la maikun fi stretching of the frame mid dash, it's much easier to convey that kind of motion, right? And um, I'll point something out in the dash animation, and by the end of it, there is a there is a transitional frame that allows the animation to return back to the idle pose. This helps with the fluidity of the animation. But that point specifically, when the third part, which is, uh, which is feel and fluidity. Is there a difference between transitional frames and smear frames, or are those different names for the same thing? Okay, so transitional frames, it's just a phrase um, in order to label frames that allow you to transition from one animation to the next. The dash animation is one animation and it's animated separately. Bainama the idle pose is a different animation. So that frame where the chicken is leaning back is a transitional frame. Bainama smears, uh, Bainama smears is something that I'll discuss by then. How do you keep track of the character's anatomy when drawing the squash and stretch frames? Uh, that's a good question. I can actually discuss that at the end. Uh, Yusuf Amisal and no Yusuf Amisal, how do you keep track of the character's anatomy when drawing these stretch and squash frames? So uh, I'll explain it briefly. I can I can draw examples of how to maintain proportions. But generally think of the chicken as a volume. So I had a general volume of the chicken. So when you stretch it horizontally you need to somewhat make the character thinner vertically. So it's kind of like a water balloon and you're trying to maintain the volume the entire time, like a liquid chicken. That's how you treat a lot of the characters. Um, and over time with practice, on how to maintain the volume. Exactly, the volume stays the same. And my favorite attack, Saraha, is the Mega X Smash. So Lazo Kiev, Kilman Alil intensity of the uh, of the attacks, there's more and more exaggeration in the attacks. You know, the, the egg is like is I'm nehke is I'm real life proportions, an egg is way smaller than a chicken. But the anno but the but intensity of the attack, then I've exaggerated the egg attack way more. So last one is in the frames of the egg of the egg attack. Afikra is a 
اذا عم بمشي بسرعه كثير وقفوني لانه انا معود اشرح القصص بسرعه um, بس يا yeah, notice the level of exaggeration on the egg when it's hitting the ground so بما انه the mega egg smash is this highly intense uh, attack it needs to be exaggerated more than the other attacks then men لازم تكون exaggerated اكثر من ال simple uh, من ال simple clock attack او من ال simple dash attack uh, so the more intense the action the more you'll need to exaggerate the frames for that intensity to translate visually بيساعد ال player يعرف uh, انه اه oh, like this attack is more powerful so so ساعتها فينا اعرف which attack to use in which situation Um, and come in using special effects and particle effects contribute to conveying those actions. So be after be after two frames, lots of I'm stamming action lines and smoke dissipating from the ground to simulate the impact. For example, let's say the bird is on the trap. The trap will take a little bit of dust, and this dust will make me feel that the attack is more on the ground. Which you got say mega mallet out from her purse. How do you Scott Pilgrim versus the world? How do you think it's a lot Egg plus dust are part of the chicken animation or, or different sprites? So that's a good question. The egg is a different animation. And depending on different platforms, if the chicken is jumping from a, from a high platform, والأج بدها تنزل لحالها on a lower platform ما فيني نخلي نفس ال sprites بين ال chicken وبين the egg so they need to be separate كرمال لما ال impact يوصل at different times the impact uh, lands on the ground consistently okay um, for this section هحكي شوية عن smears حكون صريح معكم smears are an important part of animation for game design بس ما كان عندي مطرح حطهم so just لزقتهم هون And we're gonna go through it, okay? Uh, so what are smears? Smear is the literal smearing of the line of action of any rapid movement. So Lazo Kif, where this dude is smashing on the ground, Fiande sort of like a motion blur, like the line of action of the punch, and it indicates Kif Hatijil Khapta. Smears are essentially motion blur, but they're tastefully done. And a lot of times they're drawn manually in animations, in 2D animations. And smears are also used in 3D animation. So it's not exclusive to a single uh, medium. It's universally used in, 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 different, uh, in different mediums. Um, so without smears, um, something like Yeah, in 3D animation, so I'll just point this out quickly, is that Tilabo uh, Spider-Man or Spider-Man Miles Morales, um, in, some, in, some, in some of the attacks, Spider-Man has smears. So when he has like a kick, his leg is placed several times in 3D to simulate the smearing effect, uh, which is taken from 2D animation. Um, so as I'm going to go Typically, when you have a sword swing, it's fast. A sword swing, often, but going two to three frames, you can't stop it. Um, so, in order to translate um, this kind of attack, game animators busy the smears to sword swings, so that this kind of sword swing is visible, and it also shows a clear line of action. Can the player know when I'm besieged? The enemies, the enemy NPCs. Um, and it's perfectly showcased in a game called Hades Come In, where the sword swing has a clear line of action um, and, the, uh, and, shismo, and the special effects allow the game to communicate for the players when a sword swing on the two. Um, um, it, it doesn't only communicate motion, but come in the area of effect. So when I'm in Sabal sword. Um, so let me talk about smears and squashes and stretches. Um, those different effects, they're like moment tabbaun lahalon. Those effects are used uh, simultaneously sometimes. So, masalan, for example, 
um, in a in something like a teleportation effect, uh, we can we can combine smears and stretches uh, to to have very specific motions. Um, something like a heart snatch. We can find the smears. Hala, but I'm going to give you examples so that you know how to make smears and stretches and different examples. I mean, it's good to just look at examples and to identify them. Um, so when we talk about when we talk about smears specifically or stretches, smears and stretches they're they're mostly used in the middle of the action. So, for example, there will be uh, I can't see a punch. So a punch can be and like an acceleration, but then small, but then in the end, there's a there's an impact. So most of the exaggeration that smears can in the middle of the action. And this is achieved by by special effects, by smears, by particle effects uh, for exaggeration. Um, when we talk about smears and stretches, the uh, the bigger the smears, the more ex the more extreme the action is. So as a fianna, a long dash in a boss fight of some sorts, we need to exaggerate the smear even further. Um, and again, most actions in video games wouldn't be visible لو ما عنا هول الإفكس that are conveying the lines of actions and are conveying the motions properly. Okay, hello. Part three, feel and fluidity. Arguably my favorite section, but I'm not. And it's, I, would, I would argue it's a very important section because it's the most relevant one for game design. Um, so I would like to point out and you know, the approach towards video game animation differs from TV shows or film animations Unlike video games, uh, unlike TV shows and films, anime, uh, a video game doesn't only need to look good, it also has to feel good. What time per second is good for game animation? Um, okay, I can answer that, actually. So, um, Wali Ali, I'm Ali Sayyid. I'm um, what amount of frames per second is good for, uh, for game animation? So for game animation, uh, you need uh, wall is fine. Okay. Well, I mean, a lot of games are 60 frames per second. But the actual animation assets are at a different frame per second. So they could be at 30 frames per second. I'm not sure if they're at 24. And you need to have, you know, game animation assets need to be a multiple of the game's frame, uh, game FPS. So if the game's at 60 frames per second, naturally you'd animate at 30 frames or at 15 frames per second. So you'd animate on twos or threes. Um, twos or threes, you know, the animation is twice as slow as, you know, when, you, when you say animating on twos, you know, each frame lasts for two frames within that second. Hey, it's 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 more animation related. It's more of a technical thing. It does. It's it's uh, if pixel art is eight is good. Yeah, again, it's more of a technical thing, and each game build has a different frame, uh, has a different FPS. But all these are technical stuff, actor, and they're situational. Um. So let me talk on feel. The animation in a video game is responsible for making the gameplay feel responsive. So when we do animation for, uh, for any gameplay, uh, we need to be selective with the frames. A shatara is not frames to add frames. If a walk cycle is three frames, then a walk cycle is three frames. We don't need to add So when we so uh, uh, exaggeration in movement, uh, too much movement or exaggeration in a single action can become distracting. So I talked about the exaggeration be attacks, be different actions of the chicken, but different, different intensities have different levels of exaggeration. But in a walk cycle, for example, like this example, 
there's no need to confia at the exaggeration because like the chicken is currently having a disco party um also if is a fiala ma bifoto bas takadun am yisiru an admission bas hayda la sasha wa ashraf akthar uh so you need to find a good balance of 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 the amount of exaggeration you need a simple head bop is more than enough هيدا الفيل fluidity هو uh, uh, fluidity is how the actions in a video game flow together so in video games هون حنحكي technicalities شوي in video games different animations are animated separately so the idle pose غير عن ال walk cycle غير عن ال jump action غير عن ال dash غير عن ال attack So while those actions are animated differently, they need to feel as one coherent action while they're performed together in succession. So hala haarji bhaydel slide. In this slide, the chicken performs a walk, jump, midair dash, mega X slam, and then dashes back. They go to a walk cycle, and keep in mind. Uh, so that's where transition frame come into play. Yes. So uh, when we talk about fluidity of game animation, this is where transitional frames are considered. So they can be clear transitions between one action and the other. Um, well, I want to point out that you know, this entire sequence, I haven't tinkered with it. All the different actions, all the different animations that I've done for the chicken, they've remained exactly the same. I just took the animation assets hatayton wara baad and i've allowed them to play one after the other so there's no tweaking with the frames holy kill actions i bilab wara baadon they're different animations i've placed them next to each other and that's it uh so hon berja bid bil slide and no kill actions they're animated separately but i've placed them together and it still feels as one coherent uh action and uh This is this is how I want you to approach game animation. لا إنه كتير سهل إنه تضيع شوي بالانيميت بال بالانيميشن of the character. You can put a كتير بالتفاصيل and etc. But always keep in mind that those actions will be played together. You're going to be animating a lot of actions, so دائما خليون يلعبوا ورا بعض بطريقة consistently. Um, so keep in mind. With the continuity of the actions and different actions separately, while well, it slides, just for reference, Kermel Makiri can't feel redundancy in the topic. Um, so I'll, um, hal la sna khalsin nus al workshop taariban. I'll be honest, this was faster than I expected. So, han ekhud five minute break. A debat kon a break. Ana ma andi mishkle man tawla kthir. بس قد ايه حابين انترميشن؟ ايه ماشي اول رايت واك ان سيرشن اوكي سو هلا كفينا ريكوردينج شوي كاز كان في ريكوست انه نعمل ذا ذا تشيكن دو لك لك باسكت بول سلام او شيء All right. So hey, the horn. Ah, can the chicken make a heart egg? Okay. So how about this? The chicken lands a a heart shaped egg into the basketball. Can I name it? Right, next one. Sasha, I'm just gonna let Bastanarif take. 
uh, Anna, I have to completely remake the animations that I did for our game. So I'm currently trying to do the attack for the nth time, but it's not going very well. <laughs> Like depends how embarrassed I am. <laughs> By the way, that's it's, it's, it's part of the process. So, well. For sure, for sure. It depends depends on what it, if, if it actually looks like an animation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me even me. Hey, man, it's gonna look like an animation, but how good of an animation? I'm not if. <laughs> Currently, I have one frame, so. <laughs> yeah, hey, like it's a start, bro. <laughs> هلا عم بعمل بس الايل بوز شوي بعدين هاي هيك اون فوتوشوب لا ما في ما في بلجن اي مين هلا تو بي فير Anim the song too is a plugin, but غير هيك ما في شيء كله ااا كله natively كل ال timeline يلي ب Photoshop is is native natively موجود. On paper, um, yeah, I mean, when I started animation, I started on paper, naturally. No, this is how you learn. So I know I've animated, actually, the first film I did, most of the character animation drafts were done on paper and then retraced. So it's, it's, it's totally fun. Multiply, normal. Well, Aslan, I would, I would encourage people to uh, to an to start by animating on paper, then it's uh, it's a much much better medium for learning. All right, so honey, we're gonna, gonna squish the chicken. Okay. <laughs> uh, shame. I'll take on the hat. Can I just stick my animations? And... Yeah, actually, flip notes. Men zaman. Like, the sabab le balashed animation. Who women can bersimon ala ala sticky notes. So, hek ta lam til animation saraha. بس حشوف الشات شو عم يحكي شوي. For now I draw ducks on my tiny phone using handmade stylus. Hey, Noor, that's nice. Uh, yeah, man, صراحة any medium works. So. So هلا الجيج نطيت. كنا. Uh, 
ساشا قليلي لما نخلص البريك كرمال ما بدي نطر العالم كثير او ايه سوري تكنيكلي خلصنا البريك بس I'm enjoying it's part of it so I didn't want to interrupt you بس if you want you can continue the animation later وهيك we can finish the course first اه ما فيك تقليلي هيك لا اوكي 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 بس اخر اخر وحده اخر وحده اه وين صرنا؟ اه وين؟ اوكي 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 خلص حنكفي بعدين حنكفي بعدين هيدي اوكي everybody stick around to the end to to see the dunk وحيات الله كل مره بيصير هيك I mean to be fair doing this in five minutes yeah 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 ماشي الحال ماشي الحال اوكي almost done سوري شادي حنضطر ننطر للاخر اه اوكي وين ال permission alright على anyways ال كريم كريم I tried animating before and it sucked by the way لك um, different programs and on different UIs for animation so um, ايش اسمه؟ اتس 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 اب تو بيرسونال تيست اذا لقيت بروجرام ثاني بيريحك اكثر ده نستعمله انا بالنسبه لي فوتوشوب از اكستريملي فيرساتايل كثير بفضله على اذر بروجرامز بس انا ايف كنت سي نو سوان في تايم اه اه ما صار ما راح عليك شيء اي ثينك اد يا اد ما راح عليك شيء كنا بعنا شيء خالصين الانترميشن كنا عم نرسم الدجاجه ما اكثر هلا حنبلش ببارت 4 بس بس تكفي بس تجاوب على قصه البروجرامز انا شخصيا بستعمل بستعمل فوتوشوب بس في كليب ستوديو في كريتا دوز ار فيري افوردبل بروجرامز كريتا ببلاش على فكره سو فليبا كليب از اولسو جود فور اندرويد بس Um, yeah, so they're, they're awesome programs. If you can stamp the it, it doesn't matter. I've said this before. Paperwork scan in. Uh, yes, at me, but me. But I'm not going to say Okay, part four anticipation. So, um, all right. Anticipation is one of the, uh, is another principle from the 12 principles of animation, but it's a principle that we use in game design command. Lano, it's, it's applicable for all sorts of animations. So anticipation poses allows the player to anticipate when an enemy is about to attack, and it's crucial for designing good reactive game, gameplay. So I don't know what is anticipation, and I'm just talking about this term. Anticipation and anticipation pose is a preparation pose before the main action of an animation. So in this case, I had an example. We have this boxy dude, this bulky boxy dude, but they not play this smash on the earth, okay? But they are not doing it. They are this kind of preparation. He should have on the earth. بعدين ينط ليعمل the smash. Anticipation poses is something that we do in our daily life من دون ما نلاحظ. So مثلا إذا أنا بدي أطلع على شمالي، you know فيني أطلع هيك، أو مثلا إذا بدي عن جد أطلع حيكون في this slight turn away قبل ما أبرم. إذا إذا بدي أعمل any kind of action حيكون في an anticipation قبل ما أعملها. Um, Uh, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, so before jumping, before running, before doing anything, is a wahad bad yirkud, hai should just munawara baden yirkud. If I'm going to punch, is a miraja idi lawara abil ma amil this punch. It's something that we've learned from animation a century ago and something we still apply. And we apply it in game design. So, in the context of a game design, a good game that shows good anticipation poses is Rayman Legends. Afikra, Yelimelay Rayman Legends, it's a beautiful game to learn about animation. Well, I highly recommend you check it out. So in this case, the character Rayman has this anticipation pose to communicate what he's about to do. 
سو so, اذا بدي يعمل ذس وايندنج اب بانش حيرجع ايده لورا يضله يبرمها يضله يبرمها لحد ما تجي البانش اند هيت هيلبس ويز ترانسليتنج ذا انتنسيتي اوف ذا بانش ذاتس اباوت تو كم انتسيبيشن اولسو ابلايز تو انيميز اند انفيرمنتال هازاردز اكسترا او ذيرز ذات dangerous looking flower again and it's about to attack shahanamil right uh so honey i'm going to introduce how re- how re- blech, how the active gameplay is designed so lazuki one of the primary actions of the flower and no betrajra dahra lawara and as she wiggles she shoots out her sharp petals all right if you want to make a light or heavy attack um so a mazwood so uh so wali am bisal isn't anticipation dependent dependent on uh, whether or not you want to make a light or a heavy attack so i'll just draw a distinction so in the context of game design anticipation poses are mostly used for for enemy characters لانه the player needs to react to the enemy and the enemy needs to have some kind of an anticipation pose so that the player can react to it accordingly بس بالكونتكست for the character you're controlling بالنسبة للتشيكن لاحظ انه ما عنده an anticipation pose قبل ما تنط دغري بتنط لانه بالنسبة للكاركتر there's no need there's no need to to have anticipation Uh, the only case اللي أنا فيني أفكر فيها in which you would add anticipation poses for the character you're controlling is مثل ما قلت if it's a heavy attack of some sort or if you need to wind up to, to, to do a particular action and it's also used to balance the gameplay شوي because you can't have all of the intense actions just on command without any kind of, of skill needed me bil me so when you're controlling the character usas mithl walking and jumping and dashing is a killon balbon uh anticipation poses unless it's intentionally done you know if you want to achieve slow gameplay um then the character will feel sluggish so as a hanruh al slide tani notice how flowy winds back abil ma abil ma tawis al petals ta'ula And this is to convey to the player, and okay, an attack is about to happen. React to it properly. In the context of the workshop, I've exaggerated anticipation poses twice a And in a regular gameplay, this would be very easy to react to. But um, it's, it's enough to show, you know, you know, this is the intention. And when you're designing your characters, You can add anticipation poses, but if the anticipation is too much, make them shorter, then make them shorter, make them quicker, make the reactiveness be faster. Um, another thing I'd like to explain in this action, in, in this attack, is the line of action of the projectile. So this goes to a previous, princi- a previous point I've explained with smears, and that is smears allow you to convey the line of action of an attack. of the character and of the enemy. So in the frame that comes, Lazo Kif, this line of action allows the player to know when the attack is going. In real life, something like a flower petal doesn't make it a projectile. If we get a word and we get a word and we get a petal, it doesn't make it a projectile trajectory. But in the context of an animation, uh, in the context of a video game, where trajectory lines are necessary for conveying where the action is going to happen, this is min zid osas metal, those trajectory lines, those action lines, those smears, then it helps, then the primary, the priority anna, and on what's this line of action uh, for the, uh, for the player. Meanwhile, In Dark Souls, you keep rolling because wind up times are confusing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, this goes without saying. Uh, Dark Souls, the Dark the Souls games and Elden Ring are one of the best game references for boss fight designs and anticipation poses. And they use that to their advantage to design the active gameplay. That's a, it's an excellent, um, it's an excellent source of reference.
Um, so when I just put the frames of Flowey next to each other, oh, sorry, um, so that we can pay attention to the attack, the sprites of the flower. So before the attack, we have the anticipation pose, the winding back, and after the flower shoots out its petals, we're using action effects, we're using particle effects of any sorts to convey that an attack has been made, to communicate, and no, this attack has been made. And when it winds back in a battle attack, feel this pushback, lal flower, it's just part of physics, then has the weight of the attack, and then it goes back to being a regular flower. throughout the workshop, make sure your silhouettes are clear, even for the enemies. If the sprites have clear silhouette, you'll have an easy time designing your games visually and communicating your gameplay properly. Um, so, what I'm talking about is the big head boss. Yeah. Um, so, this is another example. Anticipation poses are also crucial for designing boss fights for, for reactive gameplay. So anticipation poses, they're not just for regular enemies. Anticipation poses are a huge part of designing boss fights. I mean, the Souls games, the Cuphead, the Nier, Nier Automata, any other game you could think of that has boss fights, fee anticipation poses. Um, I mean, Sekiro, for, Sekiro is, a, is a good example. And it's also a game I've managed to play some part of it, Tiana, but... Um, but this is this is one of those cases where a principle in animation also applies to 3D game design. So we're not just talking about 2D. This applies to 3D. Uh, so the Guardian Ape in this example, I'm below the Eid or Lawara before, before they do the strike. Um, and yes, this is a core part of reactive gameplay. Play Souls games. They're good references. But I'm not very facial. Few on the last half. Um. Oh, and surprise, surprise, we've included Cuphead in an animation workshop. So play Cuphead if you need animation references. Um, and yes, anticipation shoots gets the idea across. Um, <laughs> wow, man, hell workshop, I'll be clear surprises on Jad. Um, this flower just keeps on attacking. Uh, so the dangerous looking flower is now more dangerously dangerous uh, with even more dangerously looking sun sunglasses. Um, so be next be, in the next slide, um, um hai kun fi a boss fight sequence, then the flower and the the chicken. All right. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna allow the the boss fight to play out. The different parts of the of the boss fight interaction. So Awal she the flower just jumps up and Lazo Kif Ambikunfi uh and I want you to pay attention la sham bistir abil my sifir attack. And I think some people are catching on to that. So Lama Flowey actually before the flower attacks, Ambisir fi the slight animation wiggle. All right. So notice how Flowey wiggles Shui before it strikes downwards. And as she strikes downwards, see a clear line of action that indicates Kif, um, Kifil, Kifil strike on Bitsir. And there's another thing about the design of the flower itself, and it has five petals, and the top petal indicates how the attack is going to be. So the main petal spike pointing downwards indicates for the player in which direction the flower is going, attack, is going to attack, when, how the incoming attack will be. And Akid, you can use that to your advantage if you want to, um, uh, if you want to catch the player off guard and use your ant anticipation poses to catch the player off guard, that's, this is how you translate the flowers attack before they actually happen. And this is the core part of designing good reactive gameplay um, in a boss fight. 
بس في بوينتس بحسهم مهمين ام لو وصلون سو عيد حالك از ماتش از يو وان اه ثانك يا دونت انكرج مي هالقد نقعد لخمس ساعات صراحه ام اول رايت اند ريمبر ام if your actions are feeling stiff choppy or slow uh, you might need to use smears stretches effects to exaggerate those frames uh, not generally in animation um ma hatrsmo al frames hek static what about and when they move next to each other line ma hatlaq al action kif am btsir and it might feel stiff or slow so la ma kun fi ana those Uh, trajectory lines, those action lines, those stretches, mid action. Here we said, "Wanna make the action to be effective, quick, responsive, and it just translates the motion much clearer." Between when they are frames static and they are seen, the animation will be stiff. Okay, we reached the last minute. I forgot if you said this, but should you draw the smears on a different layer? Um, that's a technical question. Okay, so I've been my foot part five. Why am I miss? Uh, should you draw the smears on a different layer? It depends on the game you're designing. Because smears, smears, they're assets that you can reuse. Yani, yani the boss, yani Flowey, doesn't have yani the smears. They all, they can have more than a shway. That's when she's in her normal form and you're drawing smears Ella. You can draw them on a separate layer um, and just repurpose them for different characters. If you have other boss fights, you know, and uh, projectiles of any sorts, you can draw them separately and just reuse them. Um, and this is something I'll discuss in part five, Afikra. But generally, is the Hasis and all smears, they're exclusive for one character. And... You won't be using them anywhere else. Um, not worry. The same on the same layer. If you can make all the layers separate, but then, but if 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 you want to do exporting the sprites on the same layer, if you if you want to keep them separately, it depends more on the game developer. How they are assembling the animation files. Um, if you're using smears for other effects, for example, for impact effects of any of the sorts, keep them separate. Is a lot than just Export them on the same layer. Hasabil technique, and it's more of a technical decision that the game developer, you know, act, the person compiling the animation needs to worry about. But fundamentally, it doesn't make a difference. And if there's someone on the layer of, you can draw them separately. So, no, no, no. Belakis, I'll add my bad. Like this, like when we're making them in the workshops, as I said, like no, like no, they're interactive. So, اخر part in the workshop is style and elegance. Okay, can I put it It's style and elegance, but come in, it's about style and budgeting. Um, so, one thing to keep in mind in you know, video game animation is a labor intensive craft. Uh, so, it's important to keep in mind how to, keep, how to make your game feel good on a budget. All right. So I think you guys have noticed by now, you know, animation takes a lot of work. Um, when it comes to, to do the animation and con different techniques, uh, yeah, animation in general, it's labor intensive, 2D or 3D animation, either way, it's a labor intensive craft. And um, especially if you're drawing frame by frame, then you're going to be spending a lot of hours. <laughs> style and elegance like your outfit. <laughs> uh, you're going to be spending a lot of hours uh, animating character frames. So you need to figure out how to develop a style that fits within your budget. So whenever you're designing a character, uh, whenever you're designing a, ga a game, sorry, uh, you need to understand the limitations of your development team. So keep, the, keep these in mind. what's important to animate first, what can be removed, and what visual slash stylist uh, animation, visual or animation style can make the development process more efficient. So, um, 
So, مثلا, لما نحكي عن what's important to animate first, obviously, the, the, main, the main character needs to be animated first, and then the enemies, and then NPCs, etc. Um, and then after the main parts of the game are designed and animated, you can start animating the background. You can start animating cosmetic stuff. Um, and, and through that process, you prioritize what you animate. So is al fari battal ma budget to animate masalan arbitrary stuff in the background? Um I think I'm sorry I'm telling but I'm gonna the chat. So heck yeah, when you prioritize your animation, the cosmetic stuff, the additional stuff, if you can to the end, if you budget, you still have a functional a functioning game. Um so Hone, I'm gonna display the sprites. Actually, Hone presented here are all of the individual sprites that I've drawn for this workshop. And they're not that many frames. So fi uh, el walk cycle, fiancon el jump action. And from the walk cycle and the jump action, I've I got the idle pose. And then fianna the attack pose, the attack action. And then Fianna the egg, the egg slab, and then Fianna the dash. Um, and they're not a lot of frames by animation standards. Um, those frames alone were enough to animate the entire boss fight interaction. However, Lahzo and No Fina Naid Stehdem Ktirim Nil frames that we've already drawn. So, Masalan, one of the frames in the walk cycle can be used at the uh, arc of the jump. Frames from the jump cycle can be used in the egg, the mega egg slam animation. The ending of the slam attack can also be taken from the jump pose. Frames drawn from, uh, uh, frames drawn for the clock attack can be used in the dash attack, especially in the recovering part of it. So I'm reusing a lot of the frames. Yeah, even Disney uh, used to do that. Uh, so I'm reusing different frames uh, so that I can, I can create more animations efficiently. And this process uh, doesn't only cut down the development hours. But Kamen they said and we the character consistent throughout all of the animations. So when you're reusing frames, you're not the character doesn't feel boring. Belakis, the character feels consistent. And you're reusing frames, you're reusing the same proportions. So you're gonna have to, so you'll naturally have to less effort in making sure the character has consistent proportions. And uh, on that note, I'd like to explain one concept that you may or may not be aware of. But when we talk about development hours, we don't talk about hours that you're taking out of your personal time. But there's rent, electricity bills, um, um computer equipment. Uh, there are a lot of factors that come into play when, you're, when you have development hours. Uh, so it's crucial to keep those in mind and the more efficient you are at developing your game, the more likely it is to be finished on smaller budgets. And this is something indie developers suffer from a lot. Budgeting and, and rent is a huge part of, of, of any development team's concern. So budgeting your process is part of the process. It doesn't Akid ma'am ulkunun to cut corners, but budgeting is, is an important part of making sure a project gets finished. The boring stuff's out of the way. Um uh, okay, shahkiton. Limiting your art style to fit the development team size is a way of establishing a unique style while making the animation process more efficient. Uh, hey, this was planned, this was a planned part of the workshop, Mansichi. Um, so, okay, how do you frame me? Damon, when you're establishing an art style for the game, make sure it's something that the, team, the development team can handle. Not for the hyper realistic AAA levels of graphics if you have three people developing. 
Um, so with that in mind, I've gathered references of video games that I think are beautifully done, are amazing to play, and they were done on exceptionally tight budgets relatively. Uh, so the first game I want to talk about, Shui, is Downwell. It's a game that was produced in 2015. Um, is a It was published by Devolver Digital. Don't quote me on that. And I want to discuss some key poses, uh, key points be Downwell. And no, it's, it's easily one of the best examples of good and efficient game design. So it uses three colors, black, white, and red. That's it. And it has three primary actions, walk, jump, shoot. The, all of the main animations um, in, in Downwell, I think can be done in one to two days. Akid is an art style khalis, but actually making the animation frames and sprites can be, do on, can be done on a weekend. So it's very efficient game design. Akid, the design process itself um, is much more time consuming. Akid designing the enemies and the gameplay, but it's efficient game design. Um, and all that to make a game that looks, uh, that looks gorgeous and feels absolutely satisfying to play. Um, mobile gaming isn't a sin, but it depends on which games you're playing. I mean, Dead Cells or Dandara are both ported on, on mobile and they play excellently there, so. This was definitely published by Devolver Digital. I've, I've made sure of that one. Um, and for me, it's such a fun uh, 2D platformer. So Gato Roboto is, um, uh, is an example of clever stylistic decisions to allow for efficient variety. So Awalshi, the game uses a black and white reduced geometric pixel art style, black and white color palette, and they don't have backgrounds, only the essential assets for level design. So Hone is a Minshufil level to Roboto. It doesn't have any Manda backgrounds. The only, the only assets you're seeing are the assets necessary Kermel ikun fi the actual design of the levels. And the cat itself is a consistent sprite. But these decisions allow you to produce tons of assets for much less development hours. Let me confirm the color palette and uh, art style that's that reduced. If you can obtain a lot of assets in a short period of time. Uh, the last game I want to talk about is Just Shapes and Beats. Um, I would highly recommend people after they finish watching this workshop to check out a game called Just Shapes and Beats. So the reason why this game to me is a really good example of uh, efficient, um, efficient game design is because it's hyper stylized geometric vector art and vector art is incredibly easy to produce. Uh, it has a limited three color palette. Amrar Bizido Alwain, but for the most part, the game has three colors. Um, or three RGB colors max. And the character that you control is a square. So kill hole kill parts in the they allow for designing tons of unique levels and boss fights with repurposed assets that are easy to produce. So the assets just shapes and beats are reused um, attack actions or attack assets. But they're cleverly designed, they're, clever, they're cleverly reused, and Just Shapes and Beats is an elaborate game. It has tons of boss fights, tons of levels to play through, um, and it's a good example of, of good game design on a budget, and it's an awesome game. Um, more games with brilliant animation to use as reference, Hatayatul Kul Kapad, Skullgirls, Lethal League, Skull Girls and Lethal League are, are highly stylized games that I recommend you check out. And then Hades and Kamen, Guacamole, and Dandara are also done by indie studios. Um, they're very good references for, uh, for animation. And like 
you know there's um hum في شيء بالزاوية هون يمكن لازم تلعبوا um, and هون منكون اختمنا ال ال animation workshop so بعتيت خلصنا شوي uh, before expected um, كنت حاطط ببال ال workshop الضاين ساعتين بس I think خلصنا بساعة ونص أو أقل حتى uh, so إن شاء الله تكونوا انبسطوا بال workshop Uh, I've left out some additional sources um, for principles of animation, um, a keynote for the animator from Skullgirls, um, the effects animation in Hollow Knight, and there's a really good pixel art pixel artist, Ismo James Brandon Gear. He illustrates and animates pixel art. And Ken Makon ala Flayfield. I'm on Instagram. If you can ask me any through messages, uh, we will send this to sources. All right. Uh, so Sasha will send the sources later. And, uh, and yeah, if you ask me questions, if you ask me privately. Uh, okay, so uh, who are you on Discord? I mean, I can share my Discord, but I don't want to use Discord. I want to use Instagram. Uh, so if you want to ask questions, just alone here, because I'm very But I can share my Discord. It's not at the end. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the workshop. Is I think we have to take questions. Mid project when it comes to animating invitation to the Discord. Like <coughs> uh, Sasha. Ah, hello, Sarah. Sasha, um, yeah. من كفة من كفة عزوم ولا من نقول I think خلينا نضلنا هون. Yeah yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so um, كلا إنه عم بيسألوا الأسئلة in chat وبفضل red بفضل uh, red in chat. For sure. And if anybody wants to raise their hand and ask a question, uh, you can keep typing in chat for sure. But however you guys feel. All right. So أول أول سؤال حرد عليه هو من من والي. Um, Wait, hang on. La, just say that. So I have more of a personal question. I always stop mid-project when it comes to animating because I feel like the animation is a failure. Can you give me some tips? Um, good question. Um, I have a simple-ish answer. So um, animation is obviously animation is labor intensive. And it's frustrating. Thus, one advice I would give when it comes to animation, can make a lot of frustration in the process, is to be able to do the animation before you In animation, you're going to be drawing a lot of frames or about. So if the, art, if the simple task of drawing itself is frustrating, then practice drawing before you enter animation. or practice the medium you're using to animate as, as an art medium, and then use it for animation. But if you're talking about animation specifically, uh, I would say consistency. Yani, and, and fail as much as you can. Yani, the whole point of practicing is to fail. And it says, when you start the animation, there's no point in practicing. And it's natural. Yani, Every animator consistently fails at an animation until it's fine-tuned enough uh, for it to be a good animation. Um, one tip I would keep it, I would do is draw very sketchy animations. When you're animating, matter some clean lines, there's some incredibly sketchy lines. You know, for example, I'm animating this chicken, all right? And I'm using just sketchy, sketchy lines very like like I'm stamping pencil and I'm not really concerned with the polishing of the animation itself. I just bust the hymn and the motion itself feels right, you know? So don't polish the animation, keep it sketchy. And if you feel like it's stiff, um, look up what can be useful for making the animation feel better. So and a good reference would be this workshop. So if the animation is feeling choppy, uh, look at the parts when hkeet and squash and stretch and smears, uh, shuffle sprites, 
pinpoint what's working with sprites in your Samton or other games. See what's working in other animations and why yours isn't working. Research, look up what makes a good animation and learn from that. And with enough consistency, you'll eventually have a good animation. And one more tip, فتش على رفيق كتير وإحماك وأرجيل animations لأن هو ناطر حيلا excuse لا يبهدلك so إذا بتأرجي bad animation أرجي بيبهدلك you'll know it's bad you'll redo it you'll do the research and redo it again and you'll have a better animation this is as concise of an answer as, as I can give في نحكي عن الموضوع أكتر بس I do want to answer other animation uh, other questions come in uh, آه أهلا وسهلا so question من, من Slim Shadi H. Badda. Can you elaborate on how music and the way that it influences game design and pacing influences visual design and animation? Um, the, the, it depends on the game, but uh, uh, it depends on the game. بس a lot of games depend on uh, on their music. So, مثلا, just shapes and beats, uh, crypt of the necro dancer. So, the pace of the music obviously influences the gameplay. While the gameplay, you'll adjust your animation pace. Um, this is how the influence happens. Um, the obviously, كل ما يكون ال ال music upbeat أكتر, كل ما يكون هيكون في عندك some kind of exaggeration أكتر بالanimation, and this is how it's influenced. Aside from that, it's 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 a matter of game animation and how that needs to be appropriated for the gameplay. Um, and all of that. Uh, blah blah blah. What I usually is okay. Planet Quest is a good reference for music. All right. Um, I bet it. Hold in the questions. بفتكر حدا كان عم يسأل سؤال بنص ال workshop and ما كتير قدرت رد. Ah, can you make good? Okay, سؤال من أبد. Can you make good animations without that pen and tablet or something? Just mouse. Um. And no. Okay. You can with pixel art, exactly. Uh, so animation, um, it's about what makes you comfortable. So animation is a very wide spectrum of mediums. If you have traditional 2D animation, which is the school of learning that I that I've come from. So Anna, Anna, I've I've trained. I've practiced animation traditionally frame by frame on the So I'm used pencil, pen and tablet. Other animators are taught animation through sculpting and, and uh, sculpting in clay, claymation and stop motion. And so when they work on 3D, they're more 3D animation. So they're more comfortable using the mouse. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's about what makes you comfortable, Sarah. And you know, for most people, I think a lot of artists, they're more comfortable with the pen. So I would just tell them, use a tablet. Yeah, just borrow any tablet. Tablets, أكيد مع الأزمة صاروا غاليين, but you can get a decent tablet for 80 bucks, even less, إذا عم تشتريها مستعملة. So just invest in a decent tablet, use Krita, and just use whatever is most comfortable for you, honestly. I know people who animate, who do, I know people who draw with a mouse come in, so it's what makes them comfortable. So, so I'll tell him in Slim Shadi. Uh, can you elaborate on how to communicate as much as possible without words in a game through visual language, game design, etc.? Might be outside your field experience, not working with, but I'd like to hear your take on it, wise boy. Uh, أهلا وسهلا حماد خوري. Okay, so فلا جواب السؤال. Um, how to communicate as much as possible without words in a game. So a good example of communication without words is a game called Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And Ori and the Will of the Wisps is is a two D platformer. 
and the characters they 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 mabihko they don't talk but but the emotional acting the, the 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 character acting of the of the characters is emotionally driven it's clear it, the emotions are are translate properly with the environment tells you a lot about the story come in so hey it's not outside my field of expertise but it's a different area of animation it's called acting in animation and and how uh, and how animated characters convey emotions through acting so i would say this is how you communicate uh, visually come in environmental storytelling helps here um that would be my answer uh so uh journey is a prime i think is a prime example of that come in journey so haida haida jawab al sual fi baad asila qabl ma nkaf lano baad ma nkhallis asila um if is a hada bidu yabat animations for feedback we're going to be doing that wa akhir shi qabl ma nkhallis al workshop stream haykun fi hankhallis rasm al jaj am ta'mil dunk so qulu li sabat fi asila Why? Okay, so uh, Slim Shadi بيسأل سؤال كتير مهم. Why are you so cool? لأنه الناطور قرر يدور المطير هلا وطفينا الغسالة وصار عندي AC. فا يا. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Slim Shadi بيسأل سؤال كتير مهم. Why are you so cool? لأنه الناطور قرر يدور المطير هلا وطفينا الغسالة وصار عندي AC. فا يا. Okay. Do you have faith in film and animation in Lebanon and the East? It seems like very little care about these things. Um. I will say this. Oh, she obviously yes. I have a lot of faith in film and animation in Lebanon. Um, لأنه بس the reason why it doesn't show that much, لأنه it's mostly an underground scene. So the animation or art scene in Lebanon, it's mostly an underground scene, and it's all in the independently done. Um, most of the um, it seems like very and it must work. Um, so I'll give you I'll give you an example of my personal ex- experience. Um, so um, a lot, and my my family side, and my extended family, جايين من background كتير traditionalist, ما بيهمون الفنون أبدا, and لمجرد وجود أنا um, so a bit of a back, so just some context. أنا I'm a filmmaker, come in, and. I've produced, I've animated two films so far, and just because of the consistency, um, my extended family started getting invested in animation, and they would actually watch them and analyze them. So my point that I, so the point that I need to get across is, um, if the odd, if people, if audiences in Lebanon don't care about animation. It's on animators to make people interested. The better the films you produce, the more people will be interested. Just like any other industry. I mean, uh, stand-up comedy Lebanon can taben la akhir ashes nien. And for the past three years, sarfiyana ktiir comedians Lebanon out of nowhere. Usaro am their tickets, their shows are being sold out kila ruat. Why I think nafsi shi be still with animation if we produce enough good films. That people actually want to watch, and it's about consistency. And the topic is not just about consistency. Yes, so Sasha, I'm going to put the link for my Instagram. You can check out my work on it. Um, so honestly, it's about consistency. Like, talama man hot, man hot animations, and we just allow people to fall in love with this medium. Then, uh, then. People will start to care, and that's that's my answer. But eh, do I have faith? Hundred percent. I think I think our film and animation Lebanon am be tasan shway after kam sene, and I think we're gonna have festivals be Lebanon in the near future. Is al wada be tasan? Exactly. If they don't care, we'll make them care. Uh, <clears throat> so, back to the question, or 
عم باكل شوكولا على فكرة لأني جات أهلا وسهلا إن شاء الله إن شاء الله يكون فادك الورك شوب نور Alright آه ساشا صار فينا نرسم ال... صار فينا نعمل تشيكن دانك ولا في فيدباك أوصل حدا بده فيدباك في الانيميشن لأنه تكنيكلي حنعمل فيدباك For sure, is that she continue the dunk, and in the meantime, uh, everybody who's done an animation and wants to oh. share it, upload it. Also, um, is any rumors that that Sasha had to battle the animation that I'm working on, and we'll do live critique. Ah, uh, um, who wants to send the who wants to send the gif? في يعمل لها اتاتشمنت على الزوم تشات انا كان جاست داونلود ات سو ا يو كان جاست ابلود ات تو ذا تشات ان زوم ا وين حطيت ال يا حوا تفضلوا <تصفيق> ليه ليه ام او في فايل ليه سوري لاست يير تعلمت من ماي ميستيك وير اي سنت سمثينج ذات واز لايك 15 ميجا بايتس لانه اي اكسبورتد اه نشوف اتس نوت فيري جود يا يا ماشي الحال ماشي الحال ام نحسن Okay. Okay. So, is it a draft or? Well, uh... Yeah, it's a it's a very basic draft. Kita mamela anta wam tushtagil hala heke when I found the time. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, is that a? Mm. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right. I don't know if she missed for you. Yes, please send send your stuff. No, I'm 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 yati motivation, verbal. Shadi, badak badak the bat animation for for critique. All right, finish with one. Take, I think it's good. Yani, hatta kif. Yani, timing wise. Yeah. I think one thing I would do, uh, it is, it, it's, it, it feels a bit stiff. Yeah, it's a draft, but I think what I would do is, so, one, so after a few frames, men Heidel actions, one, two, three, the frame after that, بت بتكفل ستاف تاعيتها هيك and the line of action is بكفي شوي لانه it feels انه انه فجاه and I think so, I have a question for you oh sorry go on yeah ماشي بس عم بقول انه انه حاسس انه ال attack يعني الاتاك فيها تكون اسرع كمان بعد يعني هون اذا بنوقف يا سو لازم حسيحة شوي سو لازم بين التو الفرق بين الاثنين سو هيدي اول سلاش امم اكشلي Mm. لا لا I think okay لا لا timing is good 
بس اي ثينك بدها تكفي شوي السلاش تاعتها لانه عم توقف فجاه هون and it's a bit uncomfortable Yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's tough with that cafe line of action. Yeah. To, for something like this, Anna, my biggest issue with these animations is the arms. I just feel like they look so awkward in every single frame. Hmm? The arms. Uh, I just feel like kill frame. Shaklon, uh, you know, broken. Uh, not necessarily here. Just in general, when you're making a big arc of shiheke, you know what I mean? Uh, hmm. Uh, did you look up? Did you look up references for uh, staff swings? Uh, I did uh, a while ago. I didn't while working on this. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. No. I... No. It's, it's a good question. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not experienced in 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 sword combat here. So what I would do is I would look up. Um, I think sequences from Star Wars hatta or uh, sequences from Nese Nese in Ayat culture and on the the stick stick uh, stick fighting uh, tradition and I would I would look at those references and I would see kif am bimskol sticks hinni wa am bi'amlu those upward slashes bas um bas masalan one thing hala like here the arms are good a fikra One of the arms are fine. No, so, uh, I think one. Allah, I think you're thinking of Shaolin monks. Yes, Yinkin. So, for example, oh, so for example, but you know, if I were to consider, for example, is a jisma hek. So the shoulder will be hek. So, for example, is a shoulder hek, and the other shoulder jaye straight hek. The libado hai kon, for example. بس إذا جسمه هيك يا في في شيء بالريديبيلتي اوف ذا كاركتر ذات يا I I drew it like a weird stickman thing for this stama director but it doesn't really it's not very readable I agree yeah <laughs> يعني يعني عم جرب عم جرب بس عارف يا لانه مثلا لما عم لما عم جرب عارف شو وين اللمز لازم يكونوا عم تكون شوي صعبه يعني كمان از السلوات يا اتس اتس سو الجسم واضح بس ما معروف وين الستاف وين ايديا Also, يعني مثلا هون شو شو هيدي الابندج اللي طالع من هون؟ You know? It's the arm, other arm hidden behind this, the, the smear. <laughs> <laughs> بس ما الارم ما لازم تكون هون عرفتي؟ So مثلا yeah. إذا شيء الارم بتطلع هيك Oh مثلا يعني I'm just trying to figure out and then suddenly على القليلة فينا I can I can at least understand and okay the core شوي عم بيطلع لورا لانه عم بتجرب تصفق السبير لفوق هيك مثلا that's one example at least yeah the silhouette still needs some working يعني in this area specifically لازم بده شوي شوي بس على القليل لسه عم نعرف انه there's an album coming out Thank you. That's super useful, Saraha. I know you know I suck at animation, but yeah, but I think, but this, 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 we, 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 بس ايه uh, بس and yeah timing is good للاكشنز I mean اكيد اكيد حسب ال حسب الكونتكست بس I think I think timing is good 
يا خاصة لما زدت الاديشنال سلاش يا اتس اتس جود تايمينج ثانك يو حدا بعد بده فيدباك؟ I think some people said that they wanted to send I in the chat. Yeah, so how do you want you want? Um, you're getting threats of coming to your house and getting complimented. Wait, hang on. Let me let me see in Discord. Oh, oh, if you had a bad be Discord. One sec. When? Oh, let me go back to the invitation. Yeah. But yeah, we'll chat. Yes, it's here. Okay, okay. Anybody who's not part of the Discord, tell us. If you want. Okay. Shadi just I'm I'm be all us in chat that require context للأسف. and he will not provide okay 2D hmm yeah I feel حالي شوي هيك noob بالموضوع because I can't when ال uh... oh okay okay game design art ah 2D art Okay. Oh wow, fiktir osas bil. Okay, wow. Yeah. So I'm assuming. Sorry, but I'll put the chat on shui. Is it this? I did. I'm assuming this is the animation. This is it, okay. Ah, okay, if you want to see it. Wait, yeah, yeah, it's animated, but it's not going to be Readability, I emphasize. Okay. Fine. Okay. Um. Okay. So, best with the art film, I can a sham tamil. Like, I know it's it's not really, it's not really clear. Yeah, no. It's it's one thing for the for the clamps to be rotating. So it's not working in our game. Yeah. Ah, wait. I have a sprite sheet of chicken animations. Is a thick the battle sprite sheets? That would be cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's it's just unclear. Shantami the action. Yeah. It's 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 just unclear. My mother reflection sham yamil, unless natra lal bottle to be to be handled. But ah, it's it's a simple accessory. Ah, yeah, it's it's a good idle pose. Mafi, there's nothing to add. Saraha, I think it's good. Um, I think for this other one, um, if it's is am betabil anine, then I would say maybe. Um, I'll explain. Um, I think I would I would have the party con bizarre as well, but we're just doing feedback and stuff. So, inshallah, my heart I con am bizarre in my dua. Fine. Open. All right, let's see. 
Let me see. Okay, هفتح باي الأساس كمان. Oh yo! لا 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 خل خلينا نشوف ال running animation بالأول. هيدا عملها كريم نادر. Yeah, I think I think the I think the chart حبه كمان. Yeah, I mean it's it's a walk cycle. And it's a it's a walk it's a good walk cycle, and I would like to point out, إنه إذا إنه لازم كيف الرأس هون and it bobs it bobs up and down so it's a good walk cycle. Yeah, this is a good reference. I'll figure out. So well done. And I think the attack. Kareem, سؤال كيف ال is the mushroom supposed to be a slow character ولا كيف؟ لأنه لأنه حاسس شوي ال actions they're they're slow and the body of the mushroom is a bit stiff. So هل هيدا شيء intentional ولا ولا is it was it not intentional? Then I would say. That's the only. That's the only thing that's feeling a bit stiff. Ah, okay. We'll slow down to. Uh, okay. No man, I think it's good. Come in. Um, one thing to keep in mind: you know, the mushroom head, I'm a Z. Hasab the action with cloth. So I think this is a good animation. This is good. It slowed down. Can you imagine the frames? But it's good. And but feel a jump. Mm. Okay. My my only comment is yeah. So Hone, I think I I'm gonna butcher it twice. Yeah, I I'm just gonna do a slight change. Yeah. So هون the character لما ينط um I'm best fresh to shway. Actually, let me do something else. Center. I'm gonna do a little adjustment bus. And on the cool file, as I'm in sweat stretching. Should narrow come in. Okay. And bad teeth. So I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do an exaggeration for the jump, because it's a bit too stiff. Mm, okay. 
بعدين هون Okay. And بس بدي اعرف اذا 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 هذا الشيء عم بيساعد او لا ولا بس عم بعيد بس اسمع لا حدا عنده لاج ولا بس اوكي Yeah, you can hone is a word name actor. Actually, I would remove this frame. Hey there, just no. Yeah, Khalil Abalek. Yeah. Yes, I think I think best chill it frame. Okay, hold on. Wait, how do you come in here and chill it? Yeah. All right. Um, pass here. Exhibit the animation actor. Should I icon? Let's play the game. Ah, sabe. Wait. Experiment. Oh, hey, the original, and hey, the. This is the adjusted one. And at this point, it becomes, and it's shway up to taste. And I was can be him, and it could be shway livelihood in the jump. But for the character, if it's more appropriate and we dull on the frames, heck, then you can keep that. I would reduce exaggeration. Yeah, you can reduce exaggeration. Hala, I know, and I'm aware of the context of the character. Ah, but has said in the jump shway stuff. بس غير هيك this is my personal opinion on what could be better بس إذا حاسس الانيميشن بدك تخليها مثل ما هي then you can do that and I'm just giving my opinion alright فا yeah you can share ساشا أهلا وسهلا لا 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 اه يبعت ال اه اوكي نايس انفورتشنت اتس نوت ا جيف سو ما بنعرف شو عم تعمل ام اسيومينج التشيكن عم اه اتس ا ووك سايكل للتشيكن All right, that's a good-looking chicken, I figure. Um, maybe the body is a bit too elongated. Yeah, it, it, it's it's approaching duck levels of design. Fly, walk, and either. Yeah, I think it's too elongated for a chicken, unless that's intentional. Um, yeah, yeah, but can made it cool a chicken. 
آه اتس اتس تو لونج ذا تشيكن يعني الجاج يعني الجاج عادة بيكون جسم أصغر <تصفيق> هيك لك شونكير أكتر اتس تو إلونجيتد فور تشيكن أكيد نوت تو ستاند إن ذا واي أوف أوف ستايلستيك تشويسز بس أم بس وين إت كومز تو لك لما يصير لما يصير شكل الجاج مثل البطة أو الجوس You start to ask questions, Shway. Ooh, for the chicken theme. Ah, those are nice. Habit. Lick, um, Shismo, Shismo, Yelian, Bibaton, Kareem, Kareem, Sahi, Yelian, Bibaton. Yeah, Kareem, Ned, bro, you're good. You're good at, you're good at this shit, Saraha. And, um, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. Those are good. I mean, look at this. This is such a good uh, truck pose. Yani. Mike, tir mo do me. yeah. Um, Karim, hot el hot el Instagram ta akon hatan shuf shalak. Kareem Nader, we're calling it out. Hot, hot the Instagram link. Uh, I have it on my Discord profile. If you can click. Um, what? Ah, okay. Hey, the whole way. There we go. There we go. Yeah. That's the. That's Hanshuf. Oh wow! Wait, Laza, Sasha, Bati, Chi. Nice. Na Sasha, she hello, Sarah. Hey, are the show ke boss? Sasha, Sasha, hell, hell, boss fight. Is it playable? It's semi-playable. Okay. It's, it's uh, also. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, I think it's just a bit stiff, but but غير هيك يعني شوي يعني I would do just some slight adjustments لل لل sprites. But غير هيك man, it it looks awesome. Thank you. But it looks menacing, me and me. <laughs> In the actual game, it tilts a little bit because it dashes towards you with that spin. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, in the case of the traditional animation, أكتر, so I might exaggerate a lot of things. So that's my general style. I'm going to say a lot of words, but uh, this is awesome. صراحة. التاني ما فتحت معي unfortunately. ما علي بليها. <تصفيق> آه يا شفتها شفتها. ويت. بس كان وين الجمهور يشوف كمان. يا بدأ it needs some tweaking because دك في ال those jitters بالأول. You know what? You know what? لا it's good. I mean حسب شو الأكشن. حسب شو الأكشن. بس the design is gorgeous على فكرة. It's really good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, the colors are smooth. Ah, wait. A third time, we're just بس هنفتح هنشوف profile تا كريم نادر شوي to see the awesomeness behind those animations. Ah, look at this. <laughs> Man, this is some good stuff, Saraha. Those are good characters. Yeah. Ah, uh, Baida. <laughs> La. Ma ba alfli am naam el react Ah. Yeah, 
حنضطر نعمل اديتنج شوي لللايف ستريم قبل ما يروح على يوتيوب بس يا اي ثينك اي ثينك اي ثينك وي رياكتد انف بنكفي الدجاجه مثل ما بدك وبدكم بيبل ان شات يا اي ثينك اي ثينك العالم بالشات حيكفوا حكي شوي Let's go. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, I think I've exaggerated that a bit too much, right? Yeah, I think. Uh... Oh yeah, Yusuf came in. I'm behind the animation. So obviously, my heart is some kill frame, and I'm on the book. So I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just recycling a lot of stuff, Sarah. Is that <laughs> la 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 la? <laughs> My... No, 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 the chicken is not going to dunk itself, okay? Because the Ruri couldn't be... Uh... Okay. I think giving a more sicker shape when it's flipping, because why not? Hmm. Ah, man, the fans want the chicken to dump itself. You know, yeah. <laughs> Fine. Carlos, the chicken is going to dump itself. Wait, let's go. Wait. Okay. Okay. So, but you're gonna say something very confusing. Uh, uh, I was just gonna say, uh, the shape. Okay, sorry, sorry, confusion. Fi alam badun a heart shaped egg, fi alam badun a chicken, and all. To dunk itself. You know what? We're gonna stick to the original plan. We're just dunking a chicken, mark that. Okay. Dunk gang Ashu Dunk gang Ashu Shubat, it's gonna dunk. Mom, Mom, if I'm little kill, I'm bit, I'm bit tired, but shut up. Wait, not so.
اوكي انا اي ثينك خلصت الانيميشن سو حنحضرها كلها هلا لاول مره and uh, we're gonna see the chicken being dunked all right Clete, Nen, Wahad. Okay, awesome. Ah, hello, I'll share it. Save the web. هلا حابعتها ان شات كرمال العالم يحضروها alright ah خلصنا awesome صراحة I love it wait wait لا في شيء زعجني بال يا هيدي ما قال عاوز هيدي الفين اه يا يا I think I think هيك أحسن Thank you. Uh, shukran ilak Yusuf لأنك حضرت الworkshop. أهلا وسهلا. على thank you so much. Well, this was such a fun. Oh wait, sorry. بس في بعض حدا بدي يشوف وين البرد. Oh, uh, بعتا a little bit earlier in the chat. Ah, in the chat. Wait, Lassa. Ah, can is it? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, hey. It's great. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna check this out first. Oh, yo. <laughs> uh, shift. Okay, see, stretch, squash, and stretch makes a good animation. That's uh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. It's, 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 it's classically cartoony, you know. Um, so there you have it. C'est magnifique, oui. طيب, بعتيت خلصنا كلنا وشكرا للكل يلي حضير. And I'm glad everyone enjoyed the workshop. Well, thank you so much. This was such a fun workshop. And I mean, obviously, because I'm Batia. So, me, 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 no, no, come in, like, you know, you gotta, you gotta be humble, come in. And I'm sure you can tell from the chat, everybody had a great time. Eh, I said, I mean, that, that's, that's awesome, Saraha. I'm glad, any, I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. Anjad. And Fiktir emojis, Ukhabas, that's nice. Me, me, thank you so much. Uh, uh, it was so great having you again and uh, thank you everybody for coming always, always a pleasure always a pleasure yeah